Good morning, morning to you, Nita. Good morning, Bishop. Where are you from in the Philippines? From Cubao. If you can speak. Isabella, Pastor. Is of Is Isabella. Yes, Bishop. Cubao. Yes, Bishop. From uh, the province of Isabella, Pastor, but I stayed in Cubao. Good. When you came to the church, um, you experienced a very huge problem with your nephew. Yes, Bishop. Tell us more about what happened to your nephew. Um, my nephew, when I came to the UCKG here in Hong Kong last May, I heard that my uh, nephew has uh, leukemia, Bishop. Leukemia? Yes, Bishop. Where does he live? Uh, he's already uh, from, uh, he's in Isabella, Bishop. He, he's from Isabella, but he's already confined in the children's hospital in Manila, Bishop. Okay. How long did he stay in hospital? Six months, Bishop. Yes. How much money did the family have to spend? They asked to get ready for four, four million for the treatment, Bishop. Four million pesos? Yes, Bishop. How many people come to work abroad, they save money, they save so much money, and the moment for them to build the house, something happens. There's an accident, there's an emergency, all the savings are gone. Am I right, yes or no? Yes. Now, in this case, when you heard the news, the bad news, what did you do? There was a, uh, uh, um, a campaign in the church, Bishop, and it says that uh, the pillar of the church, I write there, Bishop, that I did not ask for anything, Bishop, but I write, it's like, my Lord, reveal yourself upon my life. I want to see, I want to glorify you in my life. Then I put that uh, message, Bishop, in the altar, and then... Um, you didn't ask for money? No, Bishop. You didn't ask for prosperity? No, Bishop. Your prayer request was, I want to glorify you. Yes, Bishop. Okay. Exactly. And then, you heard about the situation of your nephew? Yes, Bishop. And that was an opportunity for you to glorify God? Yes, Bishop. On the altar, there is a water. And then, a challenge like this. Any one of you who want to, um, uh, to receive miracles... And the waters, you can take the water and bring to any, any of the sick uh, people or to anyone who needs help. Okay. She's talking about water. And we're going to give to you the blessed water on November 17. You will receive in the church a blessed bottle of holy water. The same water that we gave in Manila, in Cubao. When you brought it, you got it for your nephew. Yes, Bishop. Right? What did you do with the water? Did you bring the water to your nephew? Yes, Bishop, because I just came from abroad and I says, I don't bring anything, only the water from the altar, that the water they need to bring back to the altar to be blessed. And I says, when I was in the hospital and I says, I don't have anything for you, but only the water. Do you believe in miracle? And they says, yes, Bishop. So you went to the Philippines? Yes. You brought no gift for your nephew? Yes, Bishop. Only the bottle of water I have. No Game Boy? No. No chocolates? It's like so shame because I don't have anything but only a bottle of water from the altar. Okay. But this was not a normal yes, bottle Bishop. of water. Yes, Bishop. Right? Yes. Then your nephew started using the water. Yes, Bishop. What happened after he started using the water? On that week, on that first week, he still undergo uh, for a chemotherapy and blood transfusion, Bishop. And then when he drink that water, he says it seems like, not seems, it's already, he feels something. And then on that week, second week, second Sunday, supposed to be on Friday, he will gone through um, um, treatment again for uh, chemotherapy and blood transfusion. But he says, no, I'm not going to be, to be confined for a treatment. He says, I'm going to the church. He's wearing mask, um, a hat, and a jacket, which is slowly and so weak. How old is the boy? 14 years old, Bishop. 14 years old? Yes, Bishop. He told you, I'm not going to continue the chemotherapy. I'm going to go to the church on Sunday. Yes, Bishop. He went with his brothers and sister. <laughs> How is your nephew today? Now, he is totally free, Bishop. He's already joining the VYG. He received healing and also um, glorifying God with his strength. How many months, 
how many months did it take from the moment he used the water until the doctor declared him free? It's only four Sundays, Bishop. It's four free. Sundays. Negative. Did, did the doctor do a checkup with the bone marrow? Did they do a checkup with the blood? They do, Bishop. Before they need to uh, go for chemotherapy, everything should have the test. But they found negative. The doctor declared everything yes, negative. Bishop. Give a strong clap to the Lord Jesus. Glory to our God, Lord Jesus. Learn this lesson with this lady. Her prayer request was not about, Lord, I need money. She said, I want to glorify you. When your, your intention is to glorify God, then God, he will make sure that big things happen in your life. Amen. God does not want to do small things in your life. God wants to do big things in your life that everybody may know it's not a coincidence. People may know it's not because you're lucky. People may know that God's hand is working in your life. Amen. Amen. But she made a vow on the altar. And that's how it works. When you make a vow with God, you must come to the altar three times. Number one, you come to the altar to make the vow. You come back to the altar for the second time to fulfill your vow. Then you come to the altar for the third time to give your testimony. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Nita. Glory to our God. Thank you for sharing. Praise God. Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, helping you to make a new beginning.